Hello, MacArthur Stars. How are you? It is Mrs. Price. How have you been doing? Did you have a good last week? I hope so. My week was pretty good. Um, I apologize for uh, posting your projects, your activities late in the week. For some reason, I thought I could learn a new editing program and it gave me some fits. So uh, this week should be better. This week we are going to focus on origami, okay? The art of paper folding. So um, I'm gonna give each group, each uh, grade level group, two projects. Um, try not to get too frustrated, okay? This should be a fun activity. Um, if I go too fast on the video, just stop the video and rewind and replay it, okay? I will tell you um, when I was practicing uh, making each of the projects, I made mistakes, I had to start over, um, I made the wrong folds, so don't worry, that's all part of the process of learning. So um, just rewind and start over. If you get too many folds on your paper and everything's confusing, throw that piece of paper away and start with a new piece, okay? That is totally okay and that's totally fine and um, your brain is still working, so just keep trying. Um, if it takes you four, five, six times before you get it, it's okay. Once you get the folds down, then you'll know how to do it and you can make as many as you want, okay? Um, this is one of the grade level groups projects. Here's another. So um, if you want to check out what the other grade levels did and you want to try theirs out, Remember on the YouTube channel, you can see all of the videos for everybody. So you can go check out uh, different projects there. So, um, and there's also a lot of uh, origami projects on YouTube and on Pinterest. So just Google that with mom or dad's permission and find something that interests you. If the projects that I picked are not what you want to do, go find something else. Um, there's tons out there, okay? Don't forget, post your pictures. I love seeing them. I look forward to seeing them. Every day I, I log on and I have my fingers crossed that somebody has posted a picture for me. Um, you can also uh, text your pictures to 539-302-7204. Uh, um, if you text your pictures to that number, um, I will get notified that there's a picture there for me. Okay. So I would love to see your work and have fun. Okay. So today we are going to make a dog and a cat. Okay. So first we're going to start with the dog. And you need to have a square piece of paper. So if all you have at home is copy paper or notebook paper, that's totally fine. We just need to turn this into a square, okay? So if you will take the top part of your paper and bring it over to the side, you're gonna line it up with the side. You wanna make sure that this top up here has a nice point. The, the top line and the bottom side are even. Make sure you got a point up there. Push to the angle, to the di diagonal line. Go to the middle, go out, and go out. And I like to take my fingernail and make that a really nice crease, okay? So try to make that top point as nice as you can. Um, if you need a little help from mom or dad, I'm sure they will help you, okay? All right, the next step is um, we need to cut this piece off down here. So when I folded it in, uh, when I folded the paper over, now I have this flap, okay? So if I cut this off and try to do the best you can, the nicest you can. Don't worry about if it's perfect, but um, get it as close as you can, okay? And when you open your paper up, you have created a perfect square, okay? All right, and I hold on to these pieces because once you get the hang of the folds, you can make this dog any size you want. Um, you can make him teeny tiny by turning this piece of paper into a 
three or four squares, okay? All right, so we have our square and it's been folded in half. I'm gonna open it up again, okay? And then I'm gonna fold it in half in the other direction. So now I'm gonna have a crisscross. I'm gonna line up my corners as nice as I can, close as I can, push back, crease to one side, push to the other side, use my fingernail so I have nice crease creases, okay? The uh, nicer your creases are, the better your end product will be, okay? And a crease is a fold, okay? So when I fold the paper, I'm creating a crease in the paper. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the triangle, I have a triangle, and I'm gonna turn the triangle towards me, the point towards me. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this corner and I'm going to fold it down, okay? And I'm not worried exactly where it is. I just want this end to stick out so that I have an ear. I'm gonna crease, use my fingernail. I'm gonna come over here and I'm just eyeballing this. Normally you make it more precise, but I'm not worried about that, okay? And I'm going to fold this one down too so I have an ear over here. I'm gonna crease, okay? So now I have my two ears, okay? So now I'm gonna take his um, mouth and I'm going to fold up. I'm gonna take the point and make sure it's still on that center line. Crease, push from one side to the other. Open these two pieces up. I'm gonna take the back piece, I'm going to fold it under. And on the top piece, I'm going to bring that flat back to me and fold the corner over just a little bit. So when I bring it back up, I've got a little spot for his nose, okay? All right, so now there he is. There is your dog. See how easy? So now what's kind of cool about this is you can make it any color you want. Now, if you have colored paper, you can make your dog any color that you have. Um, I turned this one into a spotted dog. All I did was add in eyes. I added a nose on this little flap on the front, gave him a mouth, gave him some whiskers, and gave him some spots. I would love to see how you decorate your dog. Okay, now we're gonna create our cat, okay? This one has a little bit, uh, a few more steps, but I think you will be um, just as successful as with the dog, okay? So again, first thing you gotta do is turn your paper into a square. You can go from the top or from the bottom, it doesn't matter, just go to the side, line that up, make sure you have a nice point. Push back, push side to side. Okay, when you do that, you're gonna cut off that extra flap. And again, hold on to that piece. You can make little squares and make smaller cats and dogs if you choose. Unfold that, turn it. You're gonna fold it in half again so you have a crisscross on your square again, just like we did with the dog. Match up the corner, push back, side, side, crease well. Let me turn this around so that the arrow is facing me and I can see right now that I did not line that up exactly. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and make this cat, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this point I'm going to fold it up and go towards this, the top. And the point, um, I want to keep it right where the crease is, and you'll be able to see that crease, that's the middle of your paper, so I'm gonna put the point right there. I'm going to push back, go from side to side. Now, I'm gonna bring this side over. I'm gonna lay it over like this, but here's where it gets just a little bit tricky. Down at the bottom, you are going to, that's where your fold is going to be, but you want this 
this line to line up with the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna bring it all the way over, line that up with the bottom, and I can feel where it's hitting, hitting the edge. So I don't wanna pull it, I don't want that edge to be, I don't want this edge to be folded over. I'm gonna line it up with the bottom, increase. And I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna bring this over, line up this edge with the bottom, Push back and crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one side, this line, I want to, I have to line it up to this side, okay? So I'm gonna pull my paper up and over. I'm gonna line it up to the side, make sure I have a nice point down here and crease. I'm gonna take this side do the same thing, keeping a point here, lining up the bottom with this side, and crease. Now, if there's ever a point where I went too fast and you weren't, you're not sure what I did, just pause the video and rewind and watch it again, okay? Um, if you might have to watch it two or three times, and that's totally fine, okay? You'll get it. Now I'm going to take the bottom corner, the corner that's facing me, and I'm going to just fold it over just a little bit, take the point, and it's going to touch that fold that's right there. And I'm going to crease it. Now this, there's a lot of paper in there, so you got to really crease it good. You might even have to pinch it, okay? Do the same on the other side. Pinch it down, crease it. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it over and it's starting to look like my cat shape, okay? I have one more fold. Up at the top by the ear, I'm gonna fold this back so that um, I've got a little crease. I'm gonna fold it towards me first and I want that crease to be even with the ear and then I'm gonna fold it backwards. And when I fold it backwards, then it kind of rounds off his face. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Fold this over. Then I'm gonna fold it backwards. All right, and there is our cat shape. Okay, and I can see that this side is not exactly right, but it's, I'm not really gonna worry about it. Okay. All right, so there's our cat shape. And again, you can decorate your cat any way you want. You can make it any color you want. Um, you can add eyelashes, whatever you choose to do. Okay, so there is the cat. Meow. I can't wait to see your dog and your cat. And when you're done, you could even do a background. Where do your dog and cat live? Maybe put them in the house. Maybe put them outside. I would love to see your drawings and I would love to see your origami. Have fun!